hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again in today's video i will show you guys how to crochet this swirl beanie it's very simple it's very easy uh, to make and um, uh, the stitches i used are uh, front post double crochet and back post double crochets and then here i used uh, back post uh, half double crochets and that's it these are the stitches we are going to use and of course we are going to use just basic chains and um, the length and the width of the beanie is i made two of them so i'll show you what is the length and width of the beanie after completing the length uh, sorry the width will be approximately nine inches and the, the length will be approximately 7 inches or 17 to 18 centimeter and uh, this is how it looks the colors are very light and uh, that's why it's not the texture texture of the pattern is not showing uh, very well in the video but in uh, real life it's it's a very prominent and um, beautiful pattern and a prominent texture so the yarn i used is this one this is the yarn i'm using it's a super saver yarn by red heart and uh, it's uh, how can i explain there is 333 meters of yarn into approximately 200 gram of yarn and the crochet hook I'm using is 4.5. You can use uh, 4.5 millimeter. You can use 5 millimeter crochet hook as well. But uh, I don't want my beanie to be bigger than this. So that's why I'm going to use 4.5 uh, millimeter crochet hook. So to start our beanie, we are going to make chain 4 basic chains we are going to make four chains one two three and four and then we are going to slip stitch into the first chain and this is the ring we are going to make all of our stitches into now i will make chain three one two three and this chain 3 counts as our first double crochet in this round and all of the rounds. So first double crochet is made. We are going to make 11 more double crochets into this ring. This ring. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 11, and 1 more, 12. So now we have 1 chain 3 which is, our, which is counted as our first double crochet and then we have 11 more double crochets. So we have total 12 double crochets. What we are going to do is we are going to insert our crochet hook from behind into this chain starting chain 3 grab our yarn and pull through now we will make chain 3 1 2 3 and we will make one front post double crochet into the same stitch where we joined like that now into the next double crochet which is this one we are going to make two back post double crochet one and two now 
to the next uh, stitch which is this one we are going to make two front post double crochets one and two and this is the pattern we are going to repeat we made two front post double crochet into this we are going to make two back post double crochet into the next double crochet and then two front post double crochet into the next double crochet all the way to the end so I'm at the end of this round and at the end of this round you should end up with 24 stitches in the first round we had 12 stitches but we made increasing in every stitch so in at the end of this stitch we should uh, at the end of this round we should end up with 24 stitches now we will front post slip stitch into this chain 3 starting chain 3 we will insert the crochet hook from the behind grab our yarn and then pull through chain 3 1 2 3 and make 2 front post double crochet into next available front post double crochet 1 and 2 and now this is the uh, section of our back post double crochet so we are going to make a 1 back post double crochet into the next and two back post double crochet into the into the next back post double crochet one and two now this is our section of uh, front post double crochet so we will make one front post double crochet into the next and two front post double crochet into the next front post double crochet this is the pattern we are going to repeat from here to here which is that we are going to make one back post double crochet into our next back post double crochet and then two back post double crochets into next back post double crochet then this is the section of front post double crochet so we will make one fr um, sorry fr front post double crochet so we will make one front post double crochet into the next front post double crochet and then we will in uh, make an increase by making two front post double crochet into the next this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end so i am at the end of this round at the end of this round you should end up with 36 stitches i am going to front post slip stitch into this starting chain 3 and then i will make chain 3 and then i will make one front post double crochet into next front post double crochet here and then two front post double crochets into the next front post double crochet two front post double crochets into the next now we are on to the section of back post double crochet so i will make one back post double crochet into next two back post double crochets and then two back post double crochet into the next back post double crochet which is the last back post double crochet of this section like that and then here is our front post double crochet crochet section so i will make one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets and then i will make an increase by making two front post double crochets into the next front post double crochet this is the pattern i'm going to repeat from here to here which is that this is our back post double crochet sec uh, section so i will make one back post double crochet into next two back post double crochets in on the uh, into each of next two uh, back post double crochet i mean i'm going to make one back post double crochet into this one back post double crochet into this and then two back post double crochet into this and the next is front post double crochet crochet section so i'm going to make one front post double crochet into this one front post double crochet into this and then into the last uh, front post double crochet of this section i'm going to make two front post double crochet this is the pattern i'm going to repeat all the way to the end i'm at the end of this round and uh, at the end of this round you should end up with 48 stitches i'm going to front post slip stitch into this chain three i will make chain three and 
this is going to be our last increasing round after this round we won't be making any increasing so I will make a one front post double crochet into next two front post double crochets one two and then into the last uh, front post double crochet of this section I'm going to make two front post double crochets one and two now we are up to the section of back post double crochet so I'm going to make one back post double crochet into the next three back post double crochets one two and three and this is our last back post double crochet of this section so I'm going to make two back post double crochets into that now the section of front post double crochet is started so I'm going to make one front post double crochet into next three front post double crochets one two three and this is the last front post double crochet of this section so I'm going to make two front post double crochets into that like that this is the pattern I'm going to repeat from here to here which is that I'm going to make one back post double crochet into each of next three back post double crochet and then two back post double crochet into the last back post double crochet of this section and then I'm going to make one front post double crochet into each of next three front post double crochet and then two front post double crochet into the last front post double crochet of this section. This is the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way to the end. So I'm at the end of this round and at the end of this round you should end up with 60 stitches. I'm going to front post slip stitch into this starting chain three and now I will chain three one two three and this round is very simple and very easy what you are going to do is you are going to make front post double crochets one front post double crochet in all the front post double crochets one back post double crochet into all the back post double crochet one two three four so our front post double crochet section is finished now we are up to the back post double crochet section so we will make one back post double crochet in all the back post double crochets three four and five so this is the pattern we are going to repeat which is that we are going to make one front post double crochet into next five front post double crochet and then one, one back post double crochet into next five back post double crochet all the way to the end. So I am at the end of this round and uh, we are going to front post slip stitch into this starting chain 3 like that and then we will make chain 3 1 2 3 and we will make one front post double crochet into next five stitches 1 2 3 4 and this is the back post double crochet from the last round but we are going to make one front post double crochet into that and this completes our first set of front post double crochets this chain 3 is not our front post double crochet this will be our back post double crochet I will explain it when I reach here at the end of this round and now we will make one back post double crochet into next five stitches so first front post uh, back post double crochet second third fourth and this is our front post double crochet from last round but we are going to make one 
back post double crochet into that and this is the pattern we are going to repeat from here to here these t uh, these uh, 10 stitches we are going to repeat which is that we are going to make one front post double crochet into next five stitches the first four stitches will be already the front post double crochet from the last round but the the last or the fifth front post double crochet will be the back post double crochet of the last round then we will make one back post double crochet into next five stitches which will be the first four stitches will be the back post double crochet from the last round uh, but uh, fifth will be the front post uh, double crochet of the last round but we will make one back post double crochet into that so this is what we are going to repeat all the way to the end we are just shifting one stitch to the left one stitch of uh, front post double crochet into the left and one uh, back post double crochet to the left this is the uh, this is the way which will give it the swirly texture so this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end so i am at the end of this round after completing the last section of five front post double crochet you should end up with four back post double crochet extra so we will make one back post double crochet into those four back post double crochets one two three four by making one back post double crochet into these four back post double crochet plus this starting chain three will be counted as our back post double crochet so our section of five back post double crochet is also completed so into this chain three we are not going to insert the hook from behind this time because it's not gonna be our front post double crochet it's going to be our back post double crochet so we will insert the crochet hook from the front into this chain three grab our yarn and pull through so this is how our set of five back post double crochet is completed now we will make chain three one two three and i will make one back post double crochet into next front post double crochet like that and then i will make one front post double crochet into next five stitches one front post double crochet two three four and this is our uh, back post double crochet from last round but in this round we will make a front post double crochet into this back post double crochet so our set of five front post double crochet is completed now we will make one back post double crochet into next five stitches one two three four and the last stitch is front post double crochet from the last round but we will make a back post double crochet into that and this is the pattern we are going to repeat which is that we are going to make one front post double crochet into next five stitches the last front post double crochet of each section will be made into the back post double crochet of last round and then we will make five back post double crochet the last front, uh, back post double crochet of our uh, section will be in, made into the front post double crochet first front post double crochet of last round like these four are already back post double crochet so we are going to make one double uh, front uh, back post double crochet into these back post double crochet and then we will make one back post double crochet into this front post double crochet this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end make one uh, front post double crochet in next five front uh, five stitches and then one back post double crochet into next five stitches all the way to the end so i am at the end of this round so after completing our last five uh, front post double crochet section we should end up with three back post double crochet so we are going to make one back post double crochet into each of next three back post double crochets one two 
and 3. And now we will back post slip stitch by inserting our hook from front into this chain 3 and then pull through and slip stitch. Then make chain 3 and make one front post double crochet, uh, sorry back post double crochet into next two stitches. First one is already our back post double crochet from the last round. The next one is front post double crochet from last round but we are going to make one back post double crochet into that and then we will make one front post double crochet into next five stitches which includes one two three four front post double crochet and this is our back post double crochet from last round but we are going to make one front post double crochet into this back post double crochet and then we will make five back post double crochet into next which includes our first four back post double crochet of last round and one front post double crochet of our last round so we will be making one back post double crochet into next five stitches three four and this is our front post double crochet from last round but we are going to make one back post double crochet into that and this is the pattern from here from this first front post double crochet to the last back post double crochet we just made this is the pattern we are going to repeat we are going to make one front post double crochet into next five stitches the last one will be your back post double crochet from the last round and then you will make one front uh, back post double crochet into next five stitches which includes your the last one will be the back, uh, front post double crochet of next round but we will be making back post double crochet into that this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end one front post double crochet into next five and then one back post double crochet into next five all the way to the end so I'm at the end of this round and after completing our last front post double crochet section there are two back post double crochet stitches left so we are going to make one back post double crochet into each of those two back post stitches then we will back post slip stitch into this chain three starting chain three and then i will make chain three one two and three and then i will make one back post double crochet into next three stitches which includes our first two back post double crochets and the next one is our front post double crochet from last round but we will make a back post double crochet into that and then i'm sure you guys have learned it by heart <laughs> <laughs> by now that we are going to make one front post double crochet into next five stitches one two three four and five like that one front post double crochet into next five stitches and then one back post double crochet into next five stitches two three four and five this is the pattern we are going to repeat from this front post double crochet the first front post double crochet we made to the this uh, back post double crochet we just made just remember one thing that e in each and every round uh, until we start working here on the ribbing of the beanie our last uh, front post double crochet of our front front post double crochet section is always made into this back post double crochet from last round and our last back post double crochet um, of the back post double crochet section is always made into the front post double crochet of our last round this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end we will make one front post double crochet into the next five and then we will make one back post double crochet into the next five all the way to the end so after completing my last uh, front post double crochet section i have one 
back post double crochet left so I will make one back post double crochet into that and then I will back post slip stitch into this starting chain 3 chain 3 1 2 3 and I will make one back post double crochet into next four stitches 1 2 3 and 4 now I will make one now I will make one front post double crochet into next five stitches one two three four and the fifth one will be our back post double crochet from the last round we are going to make one front post double crochet into that and then we will make one back post double crochet into next five stitches one two three four and this is our front post double crochet from last round but we will make a back post double crochet into that and this is the pattern from this front post double crochet to this uh, back post double crochet we are going to repeat just make one front post double crochet into next five stitches and then one back post double crochet into next five stitches all the way to the end so i'm at the end of this round and after completing my last last section of front post double crochet five double crochet uh, front post double crochets you there won't be any extra stitch right now so this completes our five double uh, front post double uh, crochets so there are no stitch left here so i'm going to back post slip stitch into this chain three by inserting hook from the front and then grab the yarn and pull it through i will make chain three and you will make one back post double crochet into next five stitches first back post double crochet second third fourth and the fifth one will be the front post double crochet of the last round then make five fr one front post double crochet into next five stitches one two three four and the last one will be into this back post double crochet of the last round then this is the pattern we are going to repeat from here our first uh, back post double crochet we are not going to count this uh, chain 3 from first front uh, back post double crochet to this last front post double crochet we are going to repeat this pattern by making one back post double crochet into next these five stitches and then we will make one front post double crochet into next five stitches five back post double crochet and then five front post double crochet all the way to the end after completing our last back post double crochet uh, section there should be four front post double crochet left at after this uh, back post double crochet section so we are going to make one front post double crochet into each next four front post double crochets so now we are not going to back post slip stitch into this starting chain three because this is our uh, front post double crochet this will complete our section of these front post double crochets these are four front post double crochets and this we will uh, convert this chain three into front post double crochet by inserting the hook from behind grabbing the yarn and then pulling through this will be our first front post double crochet of the round uh, yeah this will just complete our section of this these uh, uh, five front post double crochets make chain three 
and make one front post double crochet into next back post double crochet like that then make one back post double crochet into next five stitches one two three four and this is our front post double crochet from last round we are going to make we are going to make one back post double crochet into that and then we will make one front post double crochet into next five stitches one two three four this is our back post double crochet from last round we are going to convert it into we are going to make a front post double crochet into that and this is the pattern from here for, uh, from our first back post double crochet to the last uh, front post double crochet we just made we are going to repeat this we are going to make one uh, back post double crochet into next five stitches and then we are going to make one front post double crochet into each of next five double crochet all the way uh, into next five uh, stitches all the way to the end I have I'm um, at the end of this round so after completing my last section of uh, five back post double crochet I have three front post double crochets left so I will make one front post double crochet into the each three front post double crochets and I will front post slip stitch into this chain three and this will complete our section of five front post double crochet this is our uh, front post double crochet this is our chain three in which we convert it into a front post double crochet and these three front post double crochets this completes section of five double front post double crochet so now we will make chain three one two and three and make one front post double crochet into next two stitches one this is our back post double crochet from last round we are going to make one front post double crochet into that and then we will make one back post double crochet into next five stitches two three four and the fifth one will be the front post double crochet from last round and then we will make one front post double crochet into next five stitches one <coughs> two three four this is our back post double crochet from last round we are going to make one front post double crochet into that and this is the pattern we are going to repeat from here this is our first back post double crochet of the round we just made to this last um, front post double crochet we made just make one back post double crochet into next five stitches and then one uh, front post of uh, one back post double crochet into next five and then one front post double crochet into next five all the way to the end I'm at the end of this round so at the end of this round after completing my set of uh, five uh, back post double crochet i have two front post double crochet left so i'm going to make one front post double crochet into each of next two front post double crochet and then i'm going to front post slip stitch into this starting chain three i will make chain three one two and three and then i will make one front post double crochet into next three stitches one two this is our back post double crochet from last round we are going to make one front post front post double crochet into that and then i will make one back post double crochet into next five stitches one two three four this is our front post double crochet from last round we are going to make a back post double crochet into that and then we will make one front post double crochet into next five stitches one two three four 
this is our back post double crochet from last round but we will make our fifth front post double crochet into that and this is the pattern we are going to repeat from here this is our first back post double crochet of the round we made and this is our last back uh, front post double crochet this is the these are the 10 stitches we are going to repeat we will make one front, uh, back post double crochet into next five stitches and then one front post back uh, front post double crochet into the next this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end so i am at the end of this round after completing my this section of five back five back post double crochets I ended up with one front post double crochet left so I'm going to make one front post double crochet into that and then I will convert this chain 3 into our front post double crochet so at the end of this round the width of our beanie is approximately 9 inches same as uh, our other two beanies and the length is approximately six inches so what we are going to do now is we are going to change the pattern a little bit i changed the hook uh, before i was using for 0.5 millimeter crochet hook uh, but now i'm going to use four millimeter crochet hook I will make chain 2 if you want your beanie uh, to be wider you can use same crochet hook but I want my beanie from this uh, ribbing from this bottom I just want it to be a little bit narrow here a little bit narrow that's why I'm going to use half number smaller crochet hook I have made chain 2 and then I will make uh, back post uh, half double crochet into each and every stitch to the end no matter which stitch is that from the last round if it's front post double crochet or back post double crochet you are just going to make simple back post half double crochet in all the stitches all the way to the end so I'm at the end of this round what I'm going to do is I'm going to this is our starting chain 2 so I'm going to convert it into our back post half double crochet so I'm going to insert my crochet hook from front grab yarn and then slip stitch and then I will make chain 2 and I will repeat the last round which is that I'm going to make one back post double crochet in each and every stitch all the way to the end and then I will back post slip stitch into chain 2 into this starting chain 2 and I will repeat these uh, rounds maybe 5 to 6 times or until I reach the length of the beanie I want to so I have repeated the uh, back post half double crochet rounds for total 6 times and I think I have reached, uh, I have um, got the length of the beanie I wanted to. I have res uh, um, reached that. So I am going to back post slip stitch by inserting crochet hook, hook from the front into this starting chain 2. And then grabbing the yarn and pulling through. Now I will cut the yarn. have to just hide the end of this yarn like that and that's it your beanie is completed so this is how it looks um, from the top it gives it a swirly look 
like that and swirly texture and I used a uh, half number smaller hook on this bottom because I wanted the end of the beanie the edging of the beanie to be a little bit tighter if you don't want it tighter you can just use the same number of the hook you used here so this is it this is how it looks right now this is how it looks when it's finished it has a little bit different uh, more prominent texture in the reality the text texture is not shown at is as it is in the video due to the light and uh, all that but this is uh, it looks a little bit better in reality so this is how it is um, i hope it was easy to follow and uh, thank you for watching